Who lives at the bottom of the Bermuda Triangle? There are numerous secrets our planet keeps hidden from us. Blood Falls in Antarctica, Moraki borders in New Zealand, Stonehenge in Great Britain. These and many other places keep attracting people due to the mystery hidden behind their names. But there is one special place that simultaneously terrifies and has unexplainable pull. 300 ships gone missing, 75 aircrafts never found. You're right, that's all about the Bermuda Triangle that proudly carries one more name, the, the Devil's, Devil's Triangle. Triangle. Despite all the theories scientists have, nobody knows for sure what makes crafts disappear in the area which lies in the Atlantic Ocean between Florida, Puerto Rico, and Bermuda. This area is shaped like a triangle and has a huge size of approximately 270,000 square miles. Some people believe that these disappearances are the doing of sea monsters, others accuse aliens, while some researchers believe in unusually strong winds that cause huge waves. The Bermuda Triangle has even been blamed for the tragedy of the Mary Celeste. The ship found adrift in the ocean years after it went missing. There wasn't a single crew member or passenger on board, nor dead or alive. Many believe that the ship got into the trap being prepared by the mysterious triangle. The most well-known example of ships disappearing in that area was the USS Cyclops, an American ironclad steamer with 309 crew members on board. On the 4th of March, 1918, the ship sailed toward the Bermuda Triangle with the purpose of supplying the American fleet with fuel. It vanished without any trace on a calm day and the wreckage is still not found. Five torpedo bombers and a flying boat in 1945, a cargo ship Constellation in 1943, a cargo ship El Faro in 2015. All of them and many more have been lost in the deep waters of the Devil's Triangle. Due to the notorious fame of the area, not so many people have visited. Although cruise ships sail through this region pretty often, as well as private and commercial planes which fly over it every day, few people are aware of what the life is like at the bottom of the Bermuda Triangle. Would you like to know? Here's just some of the shocking creatures that inhabit the water in this area. Dragonfish these creatures live at the staggering depth of 5 to 7,000 feet. This fish looks quite terrifying, with its black coloring and the light it produces on its own. Unlike other deep water inhabitants, dragonfish produces light in the infrared range, while the blue and green range is what other fish stick to. This ability gives the dragonfish a great advantage. It provides itself with light that other species just can't perceive. If you want to avoid nightmares for the rest of your life, don't scare the dragonfish. In case of danger, the photophores under its eyes and on the barbels light up, and the creature starts to look truly ghostly. Vampire Squid This squid has the largest eyes in terms of proportion in the world and is born to live in the depth. Despite what its name states, the creature isn't known to suck blood. Actually, Half of its tentacles don't even have any suckers. But what the vampire squid has is bright red eyes and crimson cloak that looks like webbing. At the same time, if the lighting changes, their eyes may seem blue while their body will become black. These animals are also covered with photophores, which distract predators and lure prey. But what is the hardest fact to accept about the vampire squid is that in case of a threat, these creatures can invert their skin, exposing their spines. Gulper Eel This is a strange-looking fish that resembles any other eel. It lives in the deep waters of the ocean. Its other names are the pelican eel and the umbrella mouth gulper. And there's a reason behind that. The mouth of the gulper eel is loosely hinged, which makes it extremely wide and big. In fact, the length of the jaw of the eel reaches one-fourth of the length of their body. So in proportion to the body, the mouth looks enormous. The pouch-like structure of the lower jaw allows the eel to deposit its prey there. What's more, 
Even the stomach of the eel can stretch so much that the creature can hold there a huge amount of food. Despite being the owner of such an enormous mouth, the gulper eel has tiny teeth, and this means that it isn't supposed to prey on large animals. This may seem weird. If you have such a huge mouth, why does your diet include only seaweed, fish, and the occasional octopus or squid? The thing is, the mouth of the eel serves as a net when it gets into a big group of small fish and shrimp. The Bermuda Triangle hosts some really lovely inhabitants, doesn't it? But wait, the best is yet to come. Goblin Shark Assuming that some sharks may seem pretty to you, the goblin shark will never be one of them. In fact, this is for sure one of the ugliest sharks you will ever see. Sometimes people call it a living fossil, as this shark is the only remaining member of a family which has otherwise died out. The goblin shark reaches 13 feet in size, and is also called the vampire shark due to the fact that it avoids light at all costs. Due to this feature, you can see the shark in its natural habitat only if you go as deep as 890 to 4300 feet. What's more, the animal has some peculiarities that distinguish it from other sea creatures. For example, its jaw. You will notice nothing strange at first glance, but as soon as the prey appears in the vicinity, the jaw of the shark will elongate and grab it. As soon as the victim gets to the shark's mouth, the jaw returns to place and a set of small but extremely sharp teeth starts to grind everything that is inside. This may scare the daylights out of you, but sharks need this as they are clumsy and slow and have to have an advantage over their prey. Eunice Afro de Trois. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it, but fortunately the creature is also known as a bobbit worm. And it's terrifying! The worm buries itself in the seafloor with just a fraction of its body exposed. The depth at which it feels comfortable is from 32 to 131 feet. The creature has five antennae it uses to sense the prey, other worms and fish that can be seven times bigger than the worm itself. Pharynx, a complex feeding apparatus that helps the bobbit worm catch the prey, can turn inside out, not unlike glove fingers. It has strong and extremely sharp mandibles, which can easily cut the prey in half due to the strength and speed of the worm's attack. Once the prey is secured in its jaws, the creature injects it with poison and shoots back to the burrow to feast. There's no information if the bobbit worm can kill a human, but if you meet it, a nasty bite can be guaranteed. The most disturbing thing about them is their size. An average worm reaches 3 feet with some specimen growing up to 10 feet long, consisting of more than 600 segments and weighing as much as 15 ounces. Terrifying indeed! However, these are just some of the creatures that lurk in the depths of the Bermuda Triangle. Who knows what other unbelievable horror movie beasts we can meet there? Which underwater inhabitants shocked you the most? Tell us in the comments below. Share this video with those of your friends and acquaintances who are fond of mysteries and secrets. Remember to hit the like button to show us that you appreciate the video. Then we'll see that you are interested and we'll prepare more videos like this. And to be sure you never miss one, subscribe to our channel and explore everything we have on the Bright Side of Life.